A rally in support of the Syrian uprising took place also in Jordan. More than a thousand Syrian expatriates gathered outside the Syrian embassy in Amman for Eid prayers. They also chanted slogans calling for Assad to step down. For more on this, let's go to Al Jazeera's Nizreen El Shamalia, who's in Iman. Um, Nizreen, this was the day the president was supposed to call off the dogs. He was supposed to take the military off the streets. Has that happened? Um, not from what we're hearing from activists in Syria. As you mentioned, uh, at least 10 people were killed, according to activists across Syria, on Eid al-Adha, the, the first day after the early dawn prayers. There have been attacks by Syrian security forces and uh, pro-government loyalists on uh, worshippers as they were leaving mosques. Uh, they, uh, one of the casualties um, include a newborn baby whose parents were prevented from taking her to the hospital. We're hearing about a very heavy uh, uh, security and military presence uh, in one of the suburbs in Damascus alone. An additional 3,000 troops were uh, deployed to the area. Uh, there have been tens of injuries. Arrests are continuing. We've heard reports about planes hovering over the district of Homs, which has come under very heavy attack recently. The continuation of uh, shelling the Bab Amr neighborhood in Homs by security forces using tanks. And President Assad, do we know where he is today? Because normally a president would uh, deliver the Eid message from uh, Damascus, wouldn't he? Well, according to the state news agency, Sena, President Bashar al-Assad uh, this morning on Sunday uh, went and performed the Eid prayers in uh, al raqqa uh, city, which is close to the Euphrates River and the uh, Iraqi border. Usually it is tradition that the Syrian president uh, perform these prayers in a mosque in Damascus, specifically the Al-Amawi Mosque. This time he went to al raqqa to Al-Nur Mosque, where he uh, uh, performed the prayer and listened to a sermon where the, uh, the Imam of the mosque uh, called for national unity uh, among Syrians to try to fight uh, what he called as foreign intervention in Syria's domestic affairs. They criticized the United States for calling on Syrians not to accept the amnesty proposed by the Syrian government to lay down their arms and turn themselves in. And basically, uh, uh, the preacher at the mosque also um, praised the reform program of Bashar al-Assad. In al raqqa the city where uh, the president was this morning, a few days ago there was a huge, a massive uh, pro-government rally where uh, people there basically praised Bashar al-Assad and rejected foreign intervention and said that uh, Bashar al-Assad is the right person to lead Syria at a time where it is trying to reform itself. Nizreen, as I put to you a second ago, the government was due to withdraw the security and military forces from civilian areas uh, today, Sunday. If that hasn't happened, does that mean the ceasefire and the agreement with the Arab League is now uh, something of the, f of the past? Well, according to activists we spoke to, they tell us that uh, basically Sunday uh, is, is a slap in the face to the Arab League. The Syrian government is not at all implementing the plan it accepted, proposed by and brokered by the Arab League to withdraw troops from urban areas, to release all prisoners held since February, since the uh, uprising began, to open a dialogue with the opposition and to allow the uh, movement of observers and the media inside Syria. So many people we spoke to, first of all, do not believe in this Arab League initiative, do not believe in negotiating with the government that they're uh, actually trying to oust, but they also think that it's a slap in the face by the Syrian government to the Arab League, which basically spent months before it tried to uh, basically propose this initiative and exert pressure on Bashar al-Assad. It doesn't seem to be working, and uh, the Arab League actually exerted this pressure to try to protect Syria and President Bashar al-Assad from Western intervention. It doesn't seem to be uh, succeeding. And uh, Syrian activists and protesters say that the Arab League is an impotent organization. It's politically impotent and unable to stop the violence and acknowledge and recognize the problem in Syria, which is ousting the regime and not keeping it and negotiating with it. Nizreen Al Shamalia joining us live from Amman. Thank you, Nizreen.